Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your May 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Aries. So it probably will resonate from now to the end of May because I'm releasing these a little early as I always do generally. So what do we have for Aries please? Angels, Spirits, Guides for May 2021. Two cards there we have. Oh wow. Look at that, expecting miracles. Miracles are blossoming in my life. You know, we have definitely this energy with the lotus flower opening to receive. And then the laurel, which looks like laurel, definitely looks like victory, success, accomplishment. Um, we've got the cultivating prosperity. The abundance of the universe is pouring into my life. Now, abundant can be your own internal energy of being uplifted, feeling no lack. You know, just being 100% content, you know, it feels that kind of energy. But you might have been planting new seeds and there's definitely an energy of being open to receive here. And it's the universe, angel spirits, guides, you know. Telling you that, it feels beautiful. Okay, message for Aries, please, angels. What is the message that Aries needs to hear for May 2021, please? message that Aries needs to hear for May 2021. So I've got helpful people. When I get this card Aries there could be somebody helping you, maybe bringing some level of prosperity or abundance or blessing in your life. Um, there could be somebody of influence this month. Um, very nice energy indeed. Okay. What do we have for Aries, please, angels? Spirits, guides, message for our lovely Aries. Thank you. May 2021 for Aries. Thank you. May 2021 for Aries. So I have card of Libra, justice. Love that card, the Ace of Swords. Two of Wands, Aries Energy. And the World card. Okay. My goodness, yeah. It's sorry, I'm just seeing the world there and then the world here. Okay, what do we have for Aries, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Aries. Thank you. Message for Aries. Let's clarify the cards on the table for Aries. May 2021, please. Angels, spirits, guides. What do we have for Aries? Thank you. Oh my goodness, we've got blessings again. Wow. Wow. Page of Cups. The Hanged Man. King of Wands, which can be you, Aries. Sometimes it's Leo for me as a reader, but it can be you as well. That energy is a general reading, and we've got the King of Cups here too. I'm going to clarify these two these two kings. Let's clarify the king of wands. King of Wands, I have Ten of Wands and the Hierophant. King of Cups, we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, Aries, there is an energy here 
you are receiving some blessing. I mean, the star is a card of blessing, divine wish fulfillment. You're absolutely on the right path. A sense of hope, renewal, optimism. And it's to do with this justice, which is a card of Libra. I mean, we've got the card of Aquarius here, so that might resonate for you. It could be people in your life or a person. It could be part of your energy. We have uh, the justice card, which is it's a card of it's a card that restores balance in whatever situation. So legally, um, it's you know if there's legal situations. Uh, government institutions you're waiting on a decision from there is definitely an energy of there is hope you're getting some kind of blessing here uh, any justice or legal situations going your favor restore balance or in the light of truth you know it's that kind of energy um and it's karmic as well you know there's karmic energy there's also an energy of, of reaping what you sow as well so, you know, you, your actions have consequences and it can be in a positive way. Your actions will restore balance, you know, in whatever setting this is. It can be to do with contracts as well. Uh, but for some of you, there is definitely blessings being given to you with this. Um, you're being told you're doing absolutely the right thing, the direction you're following, absolutely the right path. Um, you're being given some kind of blessing. Positive energy, hope, renewal, something that's going to restore hope, faith, renewal, you know, and that's definitely what I'm getting. If you keep on putting your energy and time into it, if it's an energy of re what you sow. So it's a really nice energy here, Aries, for that reason. Um, it's a sense of hope, renewal, optimism, so positive energy. Now, the Ace of Swords can be a victory. So again, whatever this means for you, there is victory, there is success. Um, this is your crown of glory, you know. The victory card. Um, and, you know, you've had to climb a lot of mountains to get the Ace of Swords. It's the warrior sword. So it fits with your energy perfectly. Um, you're beginning to see the blue sky, you know, the clouds are beginning to part. Any challenge or difficulty or obstacle, there's definitely a feeling that things are looking up here. Now this can be a cord cutting energy as well for some of you. So this is a new beginning. I'm cutting out what I don't need in my life and I'm taking forward only that which I do need. This is somebody who stands in full mental clarity of their truth and what is truth, what represents truth in their life, you know. So there's definitely that kind of energy here, Aries. You know, and the Page of Cups, you know, Page of Cups, it is an energy of things looking up, but there's it can be an energy of... Um, a message to do with something that brings you joy so yes it can link with uh new love uh new potential relationships it feels that there's the potential this is the beginnings of something new the beginnings of change so it can be to do with new love things that bring you joy it can be to do with creative opportunities as well aries so whatever resonates for you um some kind of message here that brings joy um communication but the page is there's definitely new beginning energies here between both of these cards it feels in this situation something needs to play out around the third week because the two of wands is you know i'm ready to make some choice or decision it's crossroads energy choice or decision about my future and it's a new future it is how my future is going to unfold what how I'm going to shape my world my reality right now somebody who has their world in their hands and they're making some choice or decision about their future here which way to go decisions to make um, direction that you want to go now you know it's that kind of energy it's a great anticipating energy you know I can see where I want to go I know the direction I want to go can be a choice between two opportunities two people two areas two paths whatever this resonates for you 
But it feels in this situation, Aries, that the hanged man is... Something needs to play out here. It's almost kind of like something needs to play out. Uh, the ducks aren't quite aligned in a row yet. You know, everything hasn't... It's that domino effect. Everything needs to be aligned before you can make some kind of decision or choice. So it might well be for some of you, whatever this is, I mean, it can, it can also be a card of new perspectives, looking at something in a different way. <coughs> but sorry. But the hanged man energy can be a card of where well, you might have felt in limbo for a period of time. Um, yeah, this can be just a card of maybe something needs to play out here um, before you can really make some choices or decisions about your future. Um, let's, let's clarify that hanged man. Let's clarify that hanged man, please. So I think I've been talking too much, so my voice is going. <laughs> and it's not just doing the readings. Okay, so what do we have for Aries, please? Let's clarify this hanged man, please. <clears throat> Let's clarify this hanged man, thank you. Thank you. So yeah, it's the victory. Uh, some kind of significant achievement, success. Yeah, I mean, I have to say, Aries, it feels to do with some kind of goal, the direction that you want to take, it's almost kind of like there may well be something that just needs to happen here. It doesn't feel too long here. I mean, it feels that you might have been waiting with this. I mean, this can be a, a significant period of time. But by the third week of May, it doesn't feel like it's going to hold you up any longer because there's definitely an energy of I will be able to put what I've been waiting for behind me and the achievement, the success um, putting a challenge behind me um, and moving on. This is definitely an energy for me as a reader of just bring it on, you know. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to go for it now. I'm ready to make some choices, decisions. I've got my eye on how I see my future unfolding and I'm just ready to go for it. So it just feels like there's something here that just hasn't played out, but it doesn't feel like it's going to be for too much longer, to be honest. Um, because then, as, as we have somebody who is making decisions on their world, we then have the full world card, you know, the completion, the completion of one cycle and stepping into another. Now, this can be a goal achievement card. It's very, very good in terms of, of you know, any kind of goal achievement, whatever goal achievement you're looking for, it's a card of victory, success, winning, worldly success. Um, so it's a beautiful, beautiful energy here. Um, so that might resonate for some of you. It can be a card of accomplishment. What you've been taking steps towards, there is some kind of achievement here. Um, can also be where you're stepping through one, one area of your life and moving to another. Now, here's the interesting thing. You might have two opportunities and you might have two people offering you those opportunities. Um, because, you know, on the one hand, we have the King of Wands. Uh, we've got that clarified with the Ten of Wands and the Hierophant. So, I mean, the Ten of Wands can be burdened, but it can also be hard, hard, hard work in energy. Um, the Hierophant having faith uh, can be to do with traditional institutions. So it can be in terms of committed relationships, marriage, um, you know, work. Uh, you know, I mean, it can represent education, you know, religion, you know, those, you know, those kind of inst traditional institutions. But it feels in this situation you are you. It feels like you're clear. If it, I'm definitely getting the, with these two kings. The more I look at them, there are two people offering you the opportunity. And it feels like, you know, again, the Page of Pentacles with the King of Cups. And now the Page of Pentacles can be to do with... The pages can be to do with giving something a go. Um, 
I'm ready to look at this. What value can it bring into my life? So yes, this can be choices in love. This can also be in terms of money, career, finances. Uh, so the Page of Pentacles can be a message to do with uh, money, career, financial opportunity, giving something a go. It can be a card of skills development as well. But again, this King of Cups can be somebody who is, like I said, offering you this. So somebody in business um, that you're really considering, it feels like, um, can be to do with like in love as well. So it feels that there's a choice between two paths, but it feels this is to do with two people. I've got two kings, which are two masters, two leaders, two achievers. Um, two people that have mastered their suit. But it feels like the heart, something that is very much connected to your heart and soul, is pulling in you in one particular direction. And that's the direction you're going in. But like I said, this offer, this opportunity, it could be where your heart's pulling you here. Um, something that's bringing you joy, creative opportunity, like I said. Something that is just very, very much close to your heart here, reaping what you sow. So there's definitely this energy. Either it could be in love, it can also be maybe to do with more of a commercial, financial, career, job, business, um, contract, even opportunity. It feels very, very beautiful. But you are being told that you have the opportunity here to cultivate prosperity. And again, this reap what you sow energy is really powerful because for some of you, there is an opportunity to expect miracles. Um, six of Wands is a significant achievement, success, going for something, um, putting a period of, of waiting for something to play out behind you. So whatever you've been waiting for to complete third, fourth week, it feels there is completion here. Uh, there is victory, there is success, there is achievement. You're ready to step into a new phase of your life with one of these two kings I'm feeling. In whatever context this resonates for you, Aries, but it feels very, very beautiful. So I'm going to pull one more advice card for Aries, please. Any other advice for Aries? Thank you. Any other advice for Aries, please, for May 2021? So the Nine of Pentacles reversed. I mean, this, on the one sense, this is something that you have been working hard to achieve. I mean, it's a significant achievement, but it's hard, hard work. So again, for some of you, there could have been a lot of hard work that you've been putting into something in order to bring some opportunity or path uh, opportunity open to you. Um, there's also an energy of my own value, my own self-worth, getting what I deserve here. So the choice is me, you, you know, I'm talking as you, me, you know, I'm looking at my life. I have the world in my hand. I have two paths available to me, but my heart is telling me which way I want to go. You know, my intuition, my heart energy is pulling me in a specific direction and I'm just ready to go for it. Something needs to play out here, but it feels like there is achievement, success, victory, bring it on energy here. That's making, you know, it's definitely a feel good energy. Um, and I'm ready to go for it. Suddenly the waiting is over and I'm stepping into a new phase of my life, feeling the success and the accomplishment. Definitely either in terms of love or business, money, career. Um... It feels very, very beautiful, Aries, and you're being told you are absolutely going to receive the blessing, the divine wish fulfillment, um, expect miracles, because, you know, you don't always see it, and this, it's not really drawn very well in this Morgan Greer deck, um, but this person walks on water, and you're being told to believe in miracles this month, because for some of you, it feels two paths are opening up. Yeah, very, very lovely energy. So I'm going to pull, that could be with people, opportunity, call it what you will. It might well be for some of you, 
you know, this king of wands, it might well be, do I stay on the path with the person that I'm with or do I go with somebody new? You know, it can be that energy as well. So whatever resonates for you, Aries. Okay, so we have purity. Always trust the purity of your heart. Interesting that we were talking about heart energy. Look inside and with look inside your heart and within it you will find the answer to your question. The heart the heart knows, you know, this month. The heart knows what it wants this month. Um, in whatever context for you, and we've got I've got at the bottom of this deck. A magical gateway it takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown yet this is the great this is where the greatest rewards are it's time to step boldly forward without looking back and that is absolutely what the two of wands does it steps into the unknown i'm ready there's no fear there is only action and choice um, and anticipation you know on what the future holds so it feels really beautiful so I'm ho I hope you enjoyed the reading, Aries. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful uh, month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.